Let's check in with Paul Barris because things are a changing. Yeah, let's see how much. Paul? Another blast of cold air is going to be moving our way, but before it gets here, we're going to see some showers develop, and that's going to be coming in probably in the latter part of the morning and into the afternoon. Scattered showers, the heaviest rain will be off to the north of us, and then some colder air will move in by uh, tomorrow night, and then we'll see some snow showers with some of that. Right now, there's rain snow off to the north and west. That'll be heading our way for tomorrow. All the rain down to the south is going to stay down to the south, but we are going to see a blast of cold air come in and change our rain over to snow, but it's going to be very, very light stuff. I don't expect any accumulations more than the dusting up in the higher elevations. We are on the edge of the cloudiness. It's been like this all day. Clouds moving in and out to the west of the city, more clearing to the south and east. Uh, there's a lot more cloudiness, but there's a big wave out here. You can almost see the spinning right now over Oklahoma, and it's a powerful jet stream, too. It's going way over 100 miles an hour. It's all close to 130 mile an hour winds uh, in the upper atmosphere, and that's going to pump up the air and lift the air, and we're going to see those showers develop. Currently, it's 50 in the city, and that'll probably be the high for the day, 49, 50, 51, somewhere in there. Uh, starting at midnight tonight, 52 Dayton, 55 in Dalton right now. Murphy's at 44 and the winds are calm. 64 and 50 for the high and the low today. And just a little bit of rain fell at the airport, about two hundredths of an inch. Skywatchers told me 60 south of the city, 62 in Dalton, but Chatsworth hit 67 and it was 62 also in Lafayette and Scottsboro. Right across the metro area, Cleveland hits 63, 60s pretty much everywhere except for the higher elevations like Signal Mountain at 59, Lookout Mountain at 57. And over the Cumberland Plateau, it was only 58 Altamont, but 60 up on Cagle Mountain, 63 Spring City to Dayton, also in the Riceville and 10 Mile and 62 out near Murphy. Same thing in Jasper, about 62. All right, here's Vipercast, our own computer model. See all these winds out of the north? Behind this rain, and that's right, that's where the rain starts at around 10 o'clock uh, tomorrow morning, maybe 11 o'clock. And then it scoots by, becomes much more scattered, the cold air dives in, and we get, get snow showers, mainly over the plateau and into the Blue Ridge. That's the signature for that. And then we get some clearing coming up into Thursday, that'll be nice, and a few more clouds coming up into Friday, but a few sprinkles also in the day, and possibly uh, some snow into the higher elevations on Friday, and that'll go into Friday night. By Saturday, I think most of it's going to be off to the east of us. And we're thinking maybe a couple tenths of an inch of water out to the west of us. The rest of us are you know, not going to see that much, maybe a tenth of an inch at the most. But tonight, 44 with some clouds. Depending on where you are, to the west, it's going to be a little more clear. Falling temperatures tomorrow and winds picking up. Some showers generally with westerly winds, 10 to 15. I think the best chance for the flurries will be tomorrow night, 29. Northwesterly winds will make it feel colder. Well, the sun comes back Thursday, but it's going to be cold. It's going to be breezy, too, 46. And still questioning how strong the winds will be on Friday. I think we'll get another blast. Could continue those breezy conditions right into Friday with, again, a few sprinkles or flurries. And then just cold on Saturday morning, 52. 60 on Sunday, but it will be dry this weekend. More rain next Monday. All right, Paul. Yeah. <laughs> That's a lot of stuff. You taking notes? Yeah. Okay, good. <laughs> I'm going to do that. <laughs> you do yeah. a seven-day forecast, you got to take notes. Oh. Thank okay. you. We're winding down.